Hey everybody, Coach Toolshed here, and in today's video we have to discuss something that has just been announced today from CD Projekt Red, and it's very ironic. This ties in directly to the video that I made just the other day. It's a video that got a lot of people pretty upset. I had more people unsubscribe from that video than I've ever had for any one video before. People were not happy that I said anything even remotely critical about CD Projekt Red, and as a result, they decided to leave the channel, which is fine. I fully expected that because I know that you're just not allowed to have anything critical to say about this company. However, they made an announcement today which maybe might change a few of your minds. Now, this doesn't have anything to do with Cyberpunk 2077, but the game I was talking about in my previous video was actually about Gwent. I was discussing their free-to-play card game, and I was discussing how, in fact, CD Projekt Red uses loot boxes in that game and for some reason they get a free pass whereas all these other companies when they use loot boxes no one seems to give them any leeway whatsoever but when CD Projekt Red does it no one seems to care everyone turns a blind eye and I got a lot of people pretty upset for me just simply pointing out that fact now today they made an announcement which I have to say is one of the most blatantly anti-gamer moves that I have ever seen from any company and I would like when I describe to you what happens I would like anyone down in the comments to tell me if they can think of another example of this happening in gaming because I can't think of any other example now what am I talking about well today they announced that they are going to be shutting down the servers for Gwent the free-to-play card game that just launched in December of last year which just came out on iOS just about five weeks ago they're shutting down the servers however they're not shutting down servers on iOS or PC. They're only shutting down servers on consoles because you see now that they've launched on mobile, they've decided to entirely abandon the console side of things. And to top it off, they're not really giving you a whole lot of time. They made this announcement today, which is Wednesday. They are shutting down all multiplayer services on Monday next week. Four days away. That's the amount of notice that they're giving their console players. Now, they are letting you know that if you want to transfer your account onto iOS, if you have an iPhone, of course, that you can do that. Or you can transfer it onto their GOG.com website and play it on PC. Now, if you have maybe been a player who has the game on both console and and PC already, well, sorry, you're going to have to pick which account you want because, you see, you can't merge your accounts and recoup that money. No, you see, you're only going to be able to keep one of those accounts active. You can't transfer your cards over to PC if you already have an account. You can't merge your accounts. They're not going to let you do that. They're citing limitations from third parties. Maybe that's true, maybe that's not, but regardless, you're not going to be allowed to do it. What else did they say? Well, we have to get into their response to this. It's very, very important because their response to this on their own forums coming from their moderators right now is the sort of response you might expect from a Bethesda or an EA or an Activision. Let me read to you, and, and let's, let's keep in mind the, what would happen if a company like, say, Blizzard, what happened last year with the Diablo Immortal situation, how upset people got. Well, imagine this scenario. Imagine if instead of coming out on stage and announcing that they were making a new Diablo game that was not going to be coming to PC or console, but it was only going to mobile. Well, instead of doing that, imagine if Blizzard had come out and said, hey, console players of Diablo 3, we know you've been playing Diablo 3 for a while on your console, but we're going to be removing all support. We're going to be shutting that game down. It's going to be essentially unplayable for you in four days because we're just making so much more money on mobile. So we're going to be supporting this mobile game that just launched a few weeks ago because, you know, the income is just so much greater. And we just, we can't support your console anymore. So sorry. People would be outraged. But that's exactly what CD Projekt Red is doing now. They are taking away a service on console and keeping it active for mobile players. If any of you out there can point me into the direction of another game where this has happened, where they shut down the servers for consoles, yet kept the mobile 
the same game active on mobile, let me know. What if EA came down and said, hey, all you Apex Legend players on consoles, we're shutting that game down on console. So all the money you may have spent in the sh in the store with your with our loot boxes, just forget all that because now you can only play on mobile and PC. Do you think people might be upset? Do you think that that might be viewed as an anti-consumer, anti-gamer move? Of course it would be. So what's going to happen now with CD Project Red? Granted Gwent is not as popular as Apex Legends or Diablo 3. I and I know that and I understand that. And of course People are going to rush to defend them and say, well, if it's not making money on consoles, why should they support it? That, that, that's besides the point. I want people to let me know. If the game is doing as well on mobile as they say it is, surely they could at least give people more than four or five days notice that, that the game's going to get shut down on console. I mean, the iOS version of this game only launched back at the end of October. It just came out. This game only launched a year ago on consoles and cd project red the messiahs of gaming are shutting down the servers with almost no warning no one knew that this was coming like i said i just made a video about this topic the other day discussing how cd project red tends to get away with stuff that other companies don't just because people love the witcher 3 and i tried to point out we have, we have to stop listening to the words that developers say, and this includes all companies, including CD Projekt Red, and we have to pay attention to what they're actually doing. And what CD Projekt Red is actually doing here is it's extremely anti-consumer and anti-gamer. Sorry, there's no other way to slice this. They are cutting the console players entirely out of the loop. Unless you want to, unless you have a gaming PC, you can go play, or unless you have an iPhone. I guess if you don't have an iPhone, forget it. And well, Android's coming. Well, okay, great. That's another promise for down the road. What about people who don't have an iPhone or don't have a PC, can't transfer their accounts, which I'm sure would be a lot of people. Let, let let's get to the responses. They're, they're coming on their own forum. This is not fan responses. This is not on Twitter. This is on their own moderated forum coming from their moderator. They're hiding behind their terms of service. Listen to this. You can still play the game on both PC and mobile. Regardless, you've agreed to the terms of use, which states that CDPR reserves the right to shut down the game at any moment without an option for refunds. It may be unfair, but that's the way it is. What? It may be unfair, but that's the way it is. You sign the terms of service, which is true. But what, what would we do if Bethesda gave that notice to somebody? Well, you sign the terms of service, so go pound sand, basically. Now, again, let's remember the line that got Blizzard in so much trouble last year. Do you guys not have phones? And every, it's, it's become a meme now in the last year. Every, it's become a joke. For how the industry treats their players. Listen to, again, this is CD Projekt Red on their own forum from their moderator. Quote, Almost everyone has a mobile phone, and games like Gwent can be easily played without the need to invest a lot of time in one session, which is ideal for mobile gaming. On the other side, card games were never popular on consoles, where action games have a much bigger audience. Oh, okay, so sorry. So sorry for playing a game where they're not popular. I, play, I, I decided to choose a, a platform to play the game on that's just not popular. Sorry I supported your product on an unpopular platform that you're now pulling the rug out from. And if you go through the forum, you'll see people who play the game are furious, and rightfully so. On Twitter, I did not see really anyone who was supporting them. I'm sure that people will start crawling out of the woodwork and backing them up and defending them for this be just because it's CD Projekt Red. But honestly... With a move like this, there is no way to act like this is positive for the player or that this is a consumer-friendly move. Again, we're talking about CD Projekt Red, who champions themselves as, as the developer for the people. They're the developer for the gamer. We leave greed to others. We're better than these other companies. We don't act like these other companies. We do what's right for the player. Well, here we have a situation where they're clearly not doing what's right for the player. If you're on consoles, if you're on Xbox or PS4, forget about it. Can't play the game. I, I don't actually, I don't know if it ever actually got an official Switch release. But regardless, you're just out of luck. 
Unless you want to play on PC, migrate over there and sign up for a GOG account. Unless you have an iPhone, you want to play it there on, on a tiny little iPhone screen, or, or maybe you have a tablet. But if you don't, you're just out of luck. Game's gone. And I know that I've made other videos before talking about the problems with online gaming. This is the problem with online gaming. Servers do get shut down. This has happened before. So this is not necessarily something new. And as soon as a game stops being profitable, they'll just pull the rug out from the players who were supporting the product. This isn't something that's new. But, again, has there ever been an example where they shut down only the console side and left mobile up and running? I can't think of any example. Maybe there is. I don't know. Let me know down in the comments below. I would really love to hear it. But what I, what I want to see happen here is I want some people to understand it. No other company would get away with this without criticism. So if there's no criticism coming, if we don't see other content creators big, much bigger than me talk about this, if they just let this slide under the rug and don't say anything about it, this blatantly anti-consumer move, just because CD Projekt Red is a darling, and I know, once again, I'm sure I'm going to lose a lot more subscribers because, again, people can't handle it. All I'm saying here, these are just facts. Same as in my last video. Basic facts facts that people just don't want to hear because they love the witcher 3 so much and i would just say to all those people like you have got to pay attention you're basing stuff based on what they did in 2015 we're in 2019 now headed into 2020 here in just a couple weeks and what we've seen here these are blatantly anti-consumer moves fact cd project red doesn't have a problem with loot boxes fact they don't have a problem with screwing over a portion of their customer base if it doesn't fit their bottom line. If you can honestly look at this situation and see it as anything other but them just spitting in the face of console players who have invested in their product, either time or money or both, you can go on, onto their forums and you see some people are saying they spent thousands of euros on this game supporting it on PS4. And now, basically, they have to choose what they want to do with their account. Some people are saying, I don't have an iPhone. I don't have a PC. I'm not going to get a gaming PC just to play your game. I already chose where I want to play it, and now you're pulling the rug out from under me. Anyway, that's it for me, Coach Tools. I, I think I got my point across. Guys, let me know what you have to say down in the comments below. I'm sure, once again, there's going to be people upset and acting like I'm you know, fear-mongering or slinging mud at CD Projekt Red, but the fact is, this is a blatantly anti-consumer move, and i got to call it out. Same as I call it out from any other company. And if you don't like that, that's fine. But I'm just reporting some facts here. Anyway, that's from me, Coach Toolshed. As always, keep it turned to 11.